Carl Jung was a Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst who is widely regarded as one of the most influential psychologists of the 20th century. Jung was a prolific writer and his ideas have had profound impacts on fields as diverse as psychology, psychiatry, anthropology, mythology, religion, and spirituality. Jung's early career was spent working with the renowned psychiatrist and psychoanalyst Sigmund Freud. However, the two men eventually parted ways due to disagreements over the nature of the unconscious mind and the role of religion and spirituality in psychotherapy. Jung went on to develop his own approach to psychology, which he called analytical psychology. Analytical psychology is based on the idea that the human psyche is composed of both a conscious and an unconscious component, and that the unconscious mind plays a critical role in shaping our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. One of Jung's most important contributions to psychology was his concept of the collective unconscious. This refers to a shared reservoir of symbolic images myths, and archetypes that are all inherited by all humans and would shape our collective, cultural, and psychological experiences. Jung also had a keen interest in religion and spirituality. He believed that religion provided a framework for individuals to explore the relationship with the divine and with the collective unconscious. His concept of the collective unconscious has been widely adopted in fields such as anthropology, literary, criticism, and the study of religion. And in this video, we are going to see nine life lessons from Carl Jung. Number one, look within. Carl Jung said your vision will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside? Dreams. Who looks inside? Awakes. Carl Jung highlights the importance of introspection and self-reflection in achieving clarity and understanding in life. According to Jung, Looking outside ourselves and seeking guidance or answers from external sources can only take us so far. True understanding and clarity can only come from within. From looking into our own hearts and exploring our own thoughts, feelings, and desires. The act of looking inward and examining our own psyche is what Jung referred to as the process of individuation which involves becoming more fully aware of our own identity, integrating all aspects of ourselves, and ultimately becoming more whole and complete as individuals. When we look within, we can better understand our strengths and weaknesses, and through which we can know ourselves in a better way. Number two, accept your darkness to understand others. Carl Jung said, Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people. When we have awareness of our own darkness, our own negative thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, we are better equipped to understand and empathize with the struggles of others. This self-knowledge allows us to recognize and connect with similar struggles in others and help us approach their challenges with greater empathy and compassion. Furthermore, by accepting our own flaws and limitations, we become less judgmental and critical of others, and more open to different perspectives and experiences. We are better able to approach difficult situations with a sense of humility and openness, and are less likely to react defensively or aggressively when faced with challenges. In Jungian psychology, the darkness, quote-unquote, refers to the shadow, which is the collection of all aspects of ourselves that we don't want to acknowledge or accept, including our flaws, insecurities, and negative traits. If you don't know how to accept or integrate those dark parts of yourself, then I have already made a detailed video on how to integrate your shadow self. I'll put the link of that in the video description. Number three, kindle a light in darkness. Carl Jung said, As far as we can discern, the sole purpose of human existence is to kindle a light in the darkness 
of mere being. According to Jung, human beings are not just physical beings with biological needs, but also spiritual beings with a deep desire for meaning, purpose, and connection. However, the experience of mere existence can be dark and full of challenges such as suffering, uncertainty, and isolation. Therefore, the purpose of human life is to bring light to this darkness and transcend its mere existence by connecting with a deeper sense of purpose and meaning. Jung believed that this process of kindling a light in the darkness is deeply personal and an individual journey that involves facing our fears, exploring our innermost selves, and connecting with our deepest values and beliefs. It requires us to tap into our inner strength and resilience and to develop a sense of purpose and direction that goes beyond our everyday concerns. At the same time, Jung also believed that this journey is not just about individual growth, but also about connecting with others and contributing to the greatness and darkness we can inspire and uplift in others and contribute to a more positive and meaningful human experience. Number four, your choices shape your identity. Carl Jung said, I am not what happened to me, I am what I choose to become. Jung believed that we all have the power to choose how we respond to the events of our lives. This means that even if we have experienced trauma or difficult circumstances, we have the power to choose how we will respond and move forward. This is not to say that we should ignore or deny our experiences, but rather that we have the power to determine how these experiences will impact us in the long run. In essence, Jung is saying that our past does not have to define our future. We can choose to move beyond our past and create a new identity for ourselves based on our choices and actions. This is an empowering message that emphasizes the importance of personal agency and responsibility. Who we are today is a result of the choices we have made in the past. Our decisions, big and small, define our character, beliefs, values, and ultimately our identity. By recognizing the power of our choices, we can take control of our lives and create the person we want to be. It's important to remember that we always have the power to choose. Even in difficult situations, our choices may not be easy, but they are what makes us who we are. Now, before we move to number five, if you could do me a small favor and hit the like and subscribe button, I have such amazing content that will come right around the corner for you as you dive deeper into this channel. Now, let's move on to number five. Interactions lead to transformation. Carl Jung said, the meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there's any reaction, both are transformed. When two people come together, it's more than just a simple interaction. Each person brings their own unique qualities and experiences. And when they connect, there is potential for a chemical reaction that changes them both. This interaction can be positive or negative, And the transformation can be either beneficial or detrimental. Jung believed that human beings are fundamentally relational and that our relationships with others shape our lives in profound ways. When two people interact, they create a new reality that is greater than the sum of its parts. They influence each other's thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. And this can lead to personal growth and transformation. At the same time, negative interactions can also lead to conflict, pain, and emotional trauma. Young encourage us to be mindful of the impact we have on others and to approach our relationships with openness and curiosity. When we engage with others in a respectful and authentic way, we have the potential to create meaningful connections that can better change us. Number six, be true to oneself. Carl Jung said, the privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. Carl Jung highlights the importance of self-discovery and authenticity. He suggests that becoming who we truly are is a privilege, meaning it is something that we have the opportunity to achieve but requires effort and dedication. Jung believed that many people live their lives according to the expectations of others 
and conform to social norms and pressures rather than following their own unique path. This conformity can result in feelings of unhappiness and unfulfillment. As individuals, we are not being true to themselves. To become who we truly are, we must first discover our authentic self by exploring our inner thoughts, feelings, and desires. This process of self discovery can involve reflecting on our past experiences, examining our beliefs and values, and exploring our passions and interests. Once we have discovered who we truly are, we can then begin to live our lives in alignment with our authentic self. This involves making choices that are true to our values and goals, and not compromising our identity for the sake of others. Number 7. Observe your reactions to learn about yourself. Carl Jung said, Everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. Carl Jung suggests that the things that bother or irritate us about others can actually be a reflection of our own inner struggles and conflicts. When we encounter traits in others that we find difficult or frustrating, it can be an opportunity for self-reflection and introspection. Rather than simply reacting to the external behaviors of others, Jung suggests that we should look inward to try and understand why we are feeling a certain way. By examining our own reactions and emotions, we may gain greater insight into our own strengths, weaknesses, and personal biases. Furthermore, by taking the time to understand our own inner workings, we may also become more empathetic and understanding towards others. This can lead to more fulfilling relationships and a greater sense of interconnectedness with those around us. When you feel irritated, angry, or frustrated with someone, it may be an opportunity to understand what is triggering those emotions within you. By reflecting on your reactions and responses, you can identify your own weaknesses, biases, and fears that may be contributing to the situation. Number 8. Don't judge a book by its cover. Carl Jung said, A particularly beautiful woman is a source of terror. As a rule, a beautiful woman is a terrible disappointment. Jung suggests that a beautiful woman can be a source of terror because she can evoke feelings of awe, desire, and envy in others. Her beauty can be so captivating and intimidating that it may make people feel insignificant or unworthy in her presence. Additionally, Jung implies that beauty can be a double-edged sword, as it can also create feelings of jealousy and competition among women who may perceive her as a threat. However, Jung also implies that the external beauty of a woman may not necessarily match her inner qualities, and therefore it can lead to disappointment. A beautiful woman may be expected to be charming, kind, intelligent, or virtuous based solely on her appearance, but these qualities may not be present. This can lead to the disillusionment and frustration when the reality does not match the expectation. Jung suggests that beauty can be misleading and may not always correspond with a person's inner qualities. Similarly, the phrase, don't judge a book by its cover, advises us not to make assumptions about the contents of a book based solely on its cover. A book's cover may be eye-catching and attractive, but it may not accurately reflect the quality of the writing or message within. Likewise, when it comes to people, judging someone solely on the basis of their appearance can lead to misunderstandings, prejudice, and missed opportunities for meaningful connections. By avoiding the temptation to make assumptions based on looks, we can open ourselves up to the possibility of discovering someone's true qualities, strengths, and values. Therefore, Jung reminds us to look beyond the surface and seek to understand the full picture. Number 9. Effective communication is key to combating loneliness. Carl Jung said, Loneliness does not come from having no people around you, but from being unable to communicate the things that seem important to you. Carl Jung suggests that loneliness is not always a result of being physically alone or isolated from others. Instead, it can arise from a lack of meaningful communication and connection with others. 
According to Jung, humans have an intimate need to express themselves and communicate their thoughts, feelings, and experiences with others. When this need is not fulfilled, we may feel isolated, misunderstood, and disconnected from the people around us, even if we are surrounded by others. Jung highlights the importance of effective communication in building and maintaining relationships. It emphasizes the need to express oneself honestly and openly and to listen actively to others. Effective communication can help to create deeper connections with others, build trust and understanding, and alleviate feelings of loneliness and isolation. Furthermore, Jung also suggests that the thing that seems important to us, such as values, beliefs, passions, and interests, play a crucial role in our sense of connection and belonging. If we are unable to share these things with others or find like-minded individuals who understand and support us, we may feel disconnected and alone. Overall, Carl Jung underscores the importance of communication and connection in combating loneliness. It encourages us to express ourselves honestly, listen actively to others, and seek out people who share our values and interests. By doing so, we can build deeper connections with those around us and create a sense of belonging and community. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now it's time to beg. Please do like the video and share it with your friends. If you have any query or suggestion, then let me know in the comment section. And please do subscribe to the channel. Watch such enlightened videos in the future. Until next time.